Good, whatever it is, I'm in time. Welcome back to Space Engineering. So, I've got a few ideas real quick. I'm gonna move this one up here, and then I'll explain my ideas. And unfortunately, you don't exactly get to vote on what I do, given this isn't a live stream. That's good enough for now. So, I'll show you what I've been doing with a bunker. We'll head down there. So, I, I added this cargo container here because it's simpler than back and forth to that one. It's actually conveyed through the floor to right here. So yeah, you can see all the conveyors back there, and then this one's for the piston, which has drills on it. So I'm using this to make sure the hole is nice and square. I want it to be even on top, and then as we go down, we'll make it band out get further. So I'm doing cement in the corners, and then these are blast door blocks here come out here. I've been having to do some terraforming over here as well because the slope doesn't let me drive this vehicle in. And I'm going to take off all these drills on the side and I don't know, actually maybe I'll take off all the drills and repurpose this to something else. For My textures are bugging out too. Whenever I reload with stone that's out in the world, it loses its texture like that. That's just plain stone. I don't know why. I had to take out one of the blast door blocks, or not the blast door, the airtight hangar doors. That's a month. So I could fit the piston right here at one point because it wouldn't let me build it through where that door would shut on it. And so I'll get that put back in. But what we're going to do today is, because I feel like I promised no more digging on camera, at least not for the bunker. We're going to make a attack drum and I was thinking we're actually gonna have to go further down I was thinking I'm actually gonna use my scout ship with a merge block and this is probably a crazy idea but the merge block is gonna be to detach the rest of the ship we'll have extra thrusters in every direction probably not some solar panels like we're gonna make multiple back ends for that ship so that we can attach and detach multiple different designs. Oh, it's too long. A lot more steel plates. Oh, that's the assembler. Right. And motors. I don't really need anything else to get started building. This will let us design it out. So, we'll head over here, and I'm using this first bar for designing. The second bar was for putting in the conveyor system and getting that piston set up. Now that's set up, I don't really need to move it for a while. Get a merge block first, if I can place to it. I want thrusters. Later I'm thinking I'll make a version of this that can go into space so that our little scout craft is a space worthy craft. It's going to have to be interesting design given it will have to go from ground to space. So it might require hydrogen, it might be that it's a hybrid of hydrogen and ion thrusters, although I don't have platinum. Actually no. Yeah I don't think I have platinum or anything that has nearly enough platinum space. Block thrusters, Gatling gun, we're gonna need another gyro. And I think that's enough to get started. Let's see, did I leave anything in this? No. Okay, we're good. We're gonna grind this off. This is where we're gonna put the merge block. Perfect. I can't build a merge block directly on top of a merge block. That's annoying. Oh, you can. You just have to finish welding it up. Right? There we go. Okay. So from here, ah, I need blocks. Do light armor, given this still has to be fairly maneuverable. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll go to our cargo container out in the back that will let us refill the ammo. We'll create multiple docking areas where we can just dock the last, the back half of the ship. And it will have to have landing gear so it can sit on its own as well. It's 
weird that these aren't connected to anything that lets you... Oh, uh, not a large. Let's you just scroll through them. You have to select the exact one, not large. That's my issue. I assume small, medium, large. It is not. I'm gonna do this. We'll put a connector on back there, and then just some simple Gatling guns, some extra thrusters, some reactors on the back. That would be us pretty well set up. Also, I need to get my camp back on. We'll probably set up some sort of system so that there's a targeting block at the back so you know with a camera what you're aiming for. Dock up. Oh, I'm going to need conveyors. Small conveyor. Connector. Go on. Oh. We gotta bring it out once so we don't hit our own thruster. That's simple. That one there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll probably add more guns to this later. Just right. Oh, that's the curved conveyor tube. Oh. Probably not finishing welding things. So I'll add bigger guns and maybe some missiles later too, because we're going to need it to take on some of these. For now, just something light attack better than what we've got, which is nothing. And we have some defenses on this base, but it really doesn't amount to much. And I need to finish off that roof at some point. Probably when I move the reactor down into the... Let's go ahead and do that there. Actually, because I am planning to expand this later, we're going to do the blocks. Red. That should work. And that will let us build more off of the side. I think missiles can go through small conveyor tubes, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is just a very simple add-on. Get a lot done for us as well. Or get some more upward. That one's low. Not chop off the whole ship this time. And then we'll wrap some armor in front of this. More forward thrust as well, because we only have a single forward thruster. If I decide I'd like to add something, see what we've got. Go ahead and roll this. Oh, and we'll do one on each side. And I want lock there for the camera to target this middle one. I'm gonna paint this one red, and the rest be whoa. Where that one came from? It'll be their boring gray, and we'll. Up thrusters, forward thrusters. Breaking thrusters wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's do double Gatling gun on both sides, actually. I don't want to go overboard because, like I said, I'm a little limited on resources. Oh, it doesn't have. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't have top and bottom points for the conveyors, but that block solves the issue. If you do that, they're now all conveyed up. This will let us store tons of ammo and potentially any loot we take. I'll have to be level here. Or the landing here. That. Oh.
What did I do? That one's forward. That one's recessed. I like the recessed look better, actually. I'm gonna go with this one quick. The recessed probably conveyor up the No, it's not it's not. We're just gonna simplify it and move it forward. And then that block I put in the bottom, recall if I said it, but that will be for a landing gear. Hold it up. I need to get one of the mods. Well, actually, no, let me rephrase that. I have a mod. I have a mod for automatic building of different systems. I just don't have the resources to build it. I should see what I need to get one up and running, because that would save me tons of time. Construction of composite small steel tubes motors. That'll go. Okay, we're not looking too bad. Uh, breaking thrust would be nice. Maybe add that to the top of this. Kind of try to armor that a little bit and then side, th side thrust. And we'll slap a gyro probably in here in between. Maybe two gyros. I want this thing to be able to turn on a dime. And then once this is done, I'm thinking we'll bring it to attack one. Oh. Motors. Battle grids, not those. Displays. I forget as soon as I get back here. Small steel tubes. Were oh. any construction. Okay, I think that's enough to get all that welded up. Then we'll add reactors that are accessible from the back. This, this thing provides enough power for itself. On the landing gear, this thing's pretty much good to go. I don't know if I have. I need more. Did you? All that. I don't know if I have enough ammo, and if I have the ability to make more ammo. I need magnesium, and luckily we've got a supply nearby, so I can just mine that off camera. Carrier plates, more motors, displays. Slap a reactor on it real quick. Do a reactor right here. Do some reactors. This one will be bared up. And it shouldn't be a problem of these not being able to be fed out. Without power because this will be powered by the rest of the ship. And if the little if the scout drone doesn't have power, then it won't be able to get over to it in the first place. And it's got its own jump start reactor, which I'll probably recess back in there. Or I need to make this a little bit more combat ready. What if I move the parachute back onto this? I need still need to make canvas, I just haven't mined the silicon I need. I guess I had to think of some metal. React components. Six, I need more of those though. And interior plates. Metal crew. I needed displays as well. Anything else I'm low? I think so.
motors. Put in the gyros before I forget them as well. Motors and computers. We're looking pretty good to go. I think the drone will be a target. That might be a little much for it. Need computers and motors. That's way more than I need on of it. Doesn't. I'm going to be building a few. That is. And I've also got to put a couple parachutes on the back. There. And I'll need to create a drop down so I can put a camera facing the red block. Not having one be my welders. Awesome hearing in this. Land here. What did I do for it? Yeah. Better. I wish there was a menu option to turn off. Automatic turning on where it tries to rotate it what it thinks is correct for you, but honestly, for it. Bit. Start muting. But you pop them on as well. That. We gotta finish getting some of that armor up too. Operational. So got a lot of camera. Oh geez. That one. If I've set up my recording software right, you shouldn't be able to see all those fitment modifications. But the sound still gets recorded. Forgot to grab some extra uranium. Grab that, feed it into the back. That will be powered up. And then you're gonna detach it and find a way to make the armor look decent. We'll grab 10. That should be plenty of uranium between the two reactors. Oh, I need Gatling ammo. How much of that do I have left over? I don't think I've really shot anything with this. Oh, <laughs> well, I have zero. Okay. Well, what I'll do, I'm thinking... Is it just me? What happened to all my rifle ammo? Tons of that stuff. Oh, there it is. Called magazine. There's 312 magazine. I'll probably be able to take that apart and make it into the NATO ammo needed for the Gatling guns. And I'll just mine some uh, magnesium finally as well. And let's go bring these reactors online. One and two. Autopilot enabled? What? I don't have an autopilot, do I?
Yes. Roll everything. Doesn't look like I have an auto. There we go. Okay. It's down. It's not the best looking attachment. Oh. Quick before I forget it. But that does give us some weapons capability, and I like the ability to be modular, where we can take this off and then we can add it on a hydrogen pack. I think it just makes a whole lot of sense. Oh, I gotta add that parachute where I just hit. And that way, if something happens, I can just drop this back part off. Add two of them. And now I just gotta remember to actually up in the it is a conveyor thing. Back here. But one here as well. actually what if we did on both sides? And that way it's all conveyored up. I can just put conveyors in cargo containers. Or not conveyors, parachutes in the cargo container. And then it can automatically or I will need to make sure that I have parachutes in there. That way, if I have to drop it and go, I should be fine. I can do a quick toggle for my side of that. Fuck. Okay. I gotta find a, a way that I'm happy with wrapping this armor as well, too. So I'm going to call this here and I'll finish this up off camera. The basic idea of it, uh, that one has to go to much higher than everything else. So I do probably need side to side thrust. Anyways, I'm Intel, so I'll catch you later.